Yes lads, we're here at my home ground, Wolverston CC. The 2024 season is very nearly underway and today I'm going to be showing you what is inside my cricket bag. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting off with, uh, what have we got here? Oh, look at that. How's that got in there? The brand new Gunplayer merch. Starting off with the bag itself, we've got the M&H L600 duffel wheelie bag. I carry a stupid amount of kit, so this comes in very, very handy. And my favourite feature, suitcase handle. Makes proceedings very, very smooth. I'm delighted to announce my partnership with M&H. Growing up, all the gun players I used to play with used to use M&H gear. So to be part of such a legendary brand is great. I did make a video where I visited the showroom in Somerset. So make sure you do check it out after this video. Watch this video first, because it's going to be good. Let's get into the kit bag and dive even deeper. Starting off with the keeping gear, we've got some legendary black M&H wicket keeping gloves. Hopefully I can claim plenty of victims in these. They certainly look like they're going to deliver, so let's wait and see. Bring on the season. M&H keeping pads too. The quality is absolutely unbelievable. And just look at the memory foam. It's so soft. And of course, as a keeper, comfort is very, very important as you could be wearing your gear for 40, 50 overs at a time. Whereas as a batsman, you can only be using it for one ball, which is often the case with myself. So it is crucial that your keeping gear is comfortable and durable. And this certainly is. I would happily wear these pads for 3,000 overs. Forget a five day test match. I could play a five year test match in these and they would still be in pristine condition. And how could I forget my M&H keeping inners? Now the way to tell if keeping inners are gun is if they have this strap. And I can confirm that these do. Gun. Moving on to some batting gear, batting pads to M&H S200. The memory foam shin bolster can only be described as a pillow. I could honestly sleep on it. Imagine that, you play your innings, you get a duck and you just take a nice long nap in the pavilion and you don't have to witness your teammates collapse. I don't think M&H do pillows and mattresses, but if they did, I would most definitely acquire them. And we've got some nice polyester padded straps if one day I do decide to play long innings. Can't promise I will though. Batting gloves, we've got the M&H S200. We've got a nice sausage finger split finger hybrid, so you get a nice combination of protection and flexibility. There's some absolutely magnificent attention to detail on these. We've got a nice pitard's palm and the embossed M&H logo on the straps. Absolutely flair. Thigh pads, these also look very, very aesthetic and I no longer have to worry about being wrapped on the inside thigh by a vicious inswinger. Uh, here's my box. For my batting helmet, we've got the Shrey Masterclass Air Titanium with the neck guard, of course. I've had this for a few years now and it has not let me down. Luckily in Division 4, it's not been required too much, but in case Ruffer Archer decides to rock up on a Sunday and bowl some heat, I know I'm very well protected. So in this compartment, we've got my GoPro box. Let me show you what's inside. We've got the GoPro Hero 10, my trusted companion for filming all of my videos. And if you're wondering how you attach it to your cricket helmet, all you need to do is get the strap and it just nicely wraps around, giving you that POV angle. I always carry a few GoPro batteries with me as well and replace them every drinks break as they usually last about 20 overs. Now, it's not very often that I've had to use all of them as I very rarely bat for more than 20 overs, but hopefully we can change that this season. And moving on to shoes, I don't have any shoes for this season, so should probably get some. I might just get these spiked up though, comment below if I should. Badge your colours, got to represent. Uh, some more accessories, we've got a cricket ball freshly stolen from the nets. Oi, that's my ball. Got some whites as well, still got the grass stains on. Definitely have not been washed since last season. Side arms, one for each side. These are very kindly sent to me by Sidearm themselves. They are the elite version and they allow you to bowl absolute heat in the nets. So if there's any teammates you don't like, you can bounce them, bounce them again, and then bounce them again with minimal effort. And how could I forget the main event? My M&H C100. This is the C100 SE. And if you're familiar with M&H bats, you'll know they are absolute weapons of mass destruction. Oh, it's a biggie. I've used it in the nets on a few occasions and the ping sounds absolutely delightful. It's got a nice concave to it, big, thick, meaty edges, and most importantly, the stickers look absolutely jet. And I'm hoping this season I can put up a new high score with this bat. And if you made it this far, comment below your own high score, as I'd love to know. So there we have it, boys. That is what is in my kit bag for the 2024 cricket season. And the GoPro vlogs are going to return very, very soon, so stay tuned for them. I can't wait to bring them out. Thank you for all the love and support, and thank you to M&H once again for supplying me all this beautiful gear. They will be linked down below, so do check them out. And if you do want 2024 to be your cricket season, do make sure you show up to your games in style with some gunplayer clothing. I've spent all winter working on the designs, and I've created some perfect pieces to show your love for the game, no matter where you are. Check them out at gunplayer.co.uk, link in description and use code BADGER for 10% off.